Blessed is the mind too small for doubt. Today we build killer cons. Now, before we get into the build, let me give you some background. If you guys have been following the channel, you guys know that I think that the killer cons unit is probably one of the worst units in the orc codex. However, a couple days ago, the sound alchemist went to the group chat with all the guys that play 40k on Sunday, and he was like, hey, instead of playing a regular game of 40k this Sunday, we should do something different. He sent us a link to an old school mini wargaming bat rep. It was a Halloween special where basically it was a free for all and there were zombies. It sounded like a lot of fun and I thought this was the excellent opportunity for me to play a Killicons unit and not worry about it being a competitive list because it's supposed to be a fun Halloween game with rules that we're kind of making up on the spot. I've always wanted to play Killicons because they look badass, they're just terrible on the tabletop. So the message was sent out on Thursday. I didn't actually get to building the Killicons until Saturday, and I only had a couple of hours on Saturday to build, paint, and have a tabletop ready of Killicons. The first thing I had to do was find them. Luckily I remembered that part of the unit was in an old pre-workout container that was being protected by a gold Dungeons & Dragons T-Rex mini. I couldn't remember what I had built so I emptied out the pieces and saw that it was three torsos and one pair of legs. The rest of the parts I hoped would still be on the sprue. I put all the random bits back into the container and got to work on building the rest. And this is what Achillicons is made up of. Three shoulder plates, three torsos, three legs, or three different pairs of legs. You have the weapons, you have a big shooter, a flamer, and the Grotzuka. Then you have the three different close combat weapons and some extra bits. So luckily for me, the kit was pretty complete. The only thing that I'm missing is the rocket launches. I think that's a weapon option, uh, but that's okay because I want to do a small little bit of kit bashing on some of the weapons, uh, but I have to look through my bit collection box to find something to, to make a cool new weapon. For this project, I'm busting out the orc range weapons and the random orc bits. Now, nothing stands out in the range weapon box, just a bunch of knob combi weapons, but the random box had these bits from, I think they're the Rocket Boys pack, and I can definitely use this for uh, weapon building. So I've never actually liked the way the big shooter looks, like I think it's just too simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of kit bashing, nothing too major. Take this off. Now it looks like the Killicons is going to be shooting a Gretchen into the enemy. I also found this flamer bit that I'm going to add to the weapon to beef it up and also make it look like the Gretchen is going to be lit on fire before he gets shot out of the gun. Now that the bits are somewhat assembled, it's time to paint each one individually. I'm starting with the color black. And this was the first mistake of my speed project. It actually took me two hours just to paint the black, and I only actually covered one model. I underestimated how much black these models needed, so I needed to change my tactic in order to finish on time. What I decided to do is prime the remaining models in black instead of keeping the yellow. Now, I wasn't going to strip the yellow, which meant that some of the models were going to look like they had you know, paint caked on, but it was a risk that I had to take if I wanted to finish this project. While the two Kilicon models are drying, I'm going to go back to the models that I already had progress with and hit it with a quick, heavy dry brush of silver. And here are the models that I just painted. I definitely think I am going to finish now that I switched up my tactic. Um, I ended up just painting the whole, or building this whole model and then just spray painting them black. Uh, what I'm gonna do is the same thing that I did with this guy, minus the yellow. Uh, the yellow details I'm gonna pick out at the end. I'm just gonna hit this with a quick dry brush with my, what do you call it, makeup brush. Uh, same color, just straight up silver. Now that the dry brushing is complete, it's time to assemble all of the parts. 
For the models that are all painted black, I'm going to have to paint the yellow parts once again. And as you can see, it has to be multiple coats. It can't just be one. That's just the thing about yellow. And it's all brands basically that I've ever tried. Uh, with yellow, it always requires more than one coat, um, which is what I was trying to avoid from the beginning. That's why I primed the entire thing yellow. Uh, but that's fine because this is still a lot faster than what my previous method was. As soon as I have the yellow sections painted, it's time to add weathering effects with a sponge and some brown paint. For this effect, I simply get paint on the sponge and dab the edges of the model with the sponge. Uh, I use brown on yellow because it appears as a rust effect on the model as you guys can see. I'm going to go really heavy on the weathering effects for this just because it's an orc model and I like that junkyard look that uh, most orc uh, vehicles have. Uh, so this model is going to have heavy weathering. After that's done, it's time to go back and paint the black sections that were highlighted by the dry brush with a solid coat of black. So it's just kind of like the tube sections of most of the Kilicons. And I want to do the same thing with the metallic silver to fully coat the metallic bits like the saws of the close combat weapons as you can see here. Now I didn't get to record this, but basically the tusks were painted with the same black as the weathering effects, and then I just hit it with a quick highlight of a tan. Uh, but once the entire model is dried, it's time to hit the model with the washes. I'm going to be using two types of washes. The first one is Nolan Oil for the black and metallic bits, and then it's going to be the sepia wash uh, for the yellow bits. Now I just have to wait for the washes to dry, and in the meantime, check this out. I already had a the bases pre-made. I just added the sepia wash to give it a little bit more of a muddy look to them. They, they look pretty nice, uh, so thank you past me for, for getting this part done. And there you have it. You have my squad of Kilicons. Now of course this unit is not complete. However, they are tabletop ready, which was the original goal. They have their three colors, uh, and I would get my 10 points in 9th edition rules, uh, so I'm satisfied. For, for this project, or for this specific video, I am satisfied with the result. Uh, stay tuned, uh, follow us on Instagram, because if I do finish these guys, I'll probably post it on there. Now, I hope you guys learned from my mistake. If you guys are trying to speed paint a unit, prime them with whatever the the major color is so for example if it was corn berserkers or something red would have been my major color i made a huge mistake by trying to prime them yellow when in reality the yellow bits were um, very few blessed is the mind too small for doubt if you guys enjoy these types of videos uh thank our patrons on patreon it is because of them that we can do these videos these take longer to edit and obviously i'm painting a whole unit so they just are more work uh, but if you contribute on uh, Patreon, it's just a dollar a month. It really does help out the channel. We also have objective markers. The link is down in the description below if you guys want to support us that way. Uh, so thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys so much for listening. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. With that said, this was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>